Hello, welcome to our Rolling Unit YouTube channel and this time I'm going to talk all about the technology XRAS that we have integrated in this our 2023 redesigned XL trailer. So let's start and let's start with the, maybe the basics. Uh, so the trailer itself, the base trailer, uh, is a welded chassis and it's hot dip galvanized. It uses only Knut, uh, Knut quality components. Knut is a German manufacturer, axles, everything here. See the big Knut logo on the uh, tow head. And uh, maybe we'll start with talk a little bit more. This is like uh, not the normal coupling. This is a special anti-sway coupling that uh, uses a friction brake that locks it on to the tow ball. So and it gives a better stability while driving. And if we are already in the matter of driving enhancements or driving features or towing features, this is something very new. We just installed the Knot ETS uh, Plus. This is like electronic stabi stability program for, um, uh, for the trailer. If it detects trailer sway, it pulls the brakes and uh, that helps to straighten the trailer out when you get trailer sway. Here's the logo if anybody wants to Google it or research it, that's, that's that one. So when we go next, we have the heat pump. We in our experienced experience have learned that the heat pumps work best as cooling and heating source because we are located quite north. So only an AC wouldn't be ideal. So we use also it for the heating. Uh, this one, when I'm not wrong, it consumes maximum about 1.7 kilowatts of electricity, but can give up to 4.5 kilowatt of heating or cooling power. So that's uh, in most situations more than enough. Even with minus 15 degrees, it will work. Um, heat, uh, heat the trailer. And next, maybe let's talk about this rolling shutter. This is a high quality rolling shutter used by produced by the company Dover in the United Kingdom. It's the same type of shutters that uh, rescue vehicles use. And under here we have not only the technical compartment, but the big storage here we used to. Uh, you can store here the extension cables, generator, spare wheel. We have a battery, some tools. And you see there's still quite a lot of space left over for for anything additionally. Also, we have lights here. So when you have to search in the dark for something, you can switch on the lights. Or if you want to have uh, some extension cables here, you have also plugs. Once you connect the trailer in, you have there on both sides plugs, so you can put here something also that requires electricity, for example. Um, when we go to the next uh, technical compartment, here is stored the hydraulic system for leveling the trailer and also for the floors uh, to uh, lift and lower those and here is also the battery and also I hope you can see it uh, it's the kill switch it's for the kill switch uh, which cuts the 12 volt uh, power so you don't get uh, some battery drainage with some systems that's constantly on standby so that's very good you can just disable it and if you store it it, will, it won't drain the battery and that's some very, very nice feature that also helps a lot. And if you come the other, other way around back, and we have also integrated here a charger. So when you plug it in into the mains, that it charges also always the battery. And uh, what is also very good about this HPC um, hydraulic system, it's that it offers a standard uh, manual option also in case you run Try the battery, you can just take the handle, put it in here and crank it open or closed or up and down. So it's very neat if you happen to this kind of situations. Also here is hidden, here is the ventilation unit. This provides fresh air to the inside and it's also compactly stored so you don't have any ventilation unit uh, on the inside obscuring the view or taking valuable wall space and it just uses the ducts to take fresh air and pumps also the fresh air here you can see the duct is going up and pumps fresh air inside there. So I think in the front cabinet we have it. Also what's quite good, we can uh, lock, uh, lock the front cabinet uh, here also in this position. So you have everything up here secured, st 
stored securely so no one can access it. But you can leave open this for the heat pump and close also this door so that anyone who shouldn't have access can't have access but the heat pump gets the fresh air that it needs to, to heat or cool the unit. Uh, what is new? Uh, we installed a space for the Starlink so that you can have also real uh, off-grid communications. As next thing, it's also possible, we also offer it a uh, solar and battery array for the trailer so you can basically have off-grid capabilities depending where you are, where you have sun of maybe even many weeks to use it there. Uh, what we don't see at the moment because uh, it's day, but we have also installed here RGB LED stripes here and also here on the on the roof you can see those these are very convenient for if you have branding or you just want to show um, show some colors or be really outstanding in the dark in the night i think we can blend in here later some photos when it's uh, the led strips are in use i think we can do that later yes <laughs> Uh, so now we go to the back. Ah, you see the, it's the further one LED strip here also on the back. LED strips are all around the back entrance also, so you get a really nice glowing back entrance. Then, and again, as, as it's RGB, you can choose the color, choose the color of your brand or your company and make it really fit as a marketing platform, for example. So now that I'm in the back, let's talk about the little bit of stairs and the rails. It's very easy system. You can just, uh, you don't have to, on some vehicles, you have to take them apart and store them inside. But as it's very easy, you just pull it and it remains in this position and the other side too. Also, this roof canopy, roof canopy, quite convenient. You just pull the trigger and close it. So very easy. Uh, what else is also the stairs? The stairs you don't see maybe at first glance, uh, but they are adjustable. I just show it. They are adjustable here. With this, you can pull this out and then extend this extra leg and adjust the height that way. Here it's level enough. You don't need those, so I'll put it back here and of course on both sides. So uh, maybe before we go on to inside, a uh, couple of features more on the outside we have also installed a side skirt the idea if you look a little bit below the trailer the idea of the side skirt is that you don't uh, get dust on your internal walls while it's uh, driving in let's say bad road conditions uh, that where the dirt can fly up so it uh, catches the dirt and doesn't uh, allow to get it onto for example this roof panel here so that it remains clean when you open it so it it does look nicely. Our trailer is really insulated really well. It has at least five centimeters of uh, XPS uh, foam insulation all around. And also what makes it special, most producers don't have anything on the floor. But here you see the floor panel thickness. That gives you an idea how good it's insulated. It has a welded aluminum frame inside and all is insulated. So also the floor is insulated. That's very important, especially if you're working cold climates in like uh, in Estonia we have. So what's also new is this beautiful window, a bit odd shaped. We thought it gives a nice appearance and uh, uh, mm, communicates well with the overall design. It has angles and the angle is also the same angle is found on the various design elements that we, we have integrated here. And if we go once more back, the idea with uh, uh, in transport mode with the roof canopy and the stairs it that it closes and protects the glass door so when you arrive at the road show in bad road conditions it's not the first thing you have to do is start cleaning the glass door the dirt is all everything here and when you open it the dirt is hidden you can start working no need to take uh, half an hour to clean it as you just hide away it uh, so and also again here you see some sockets also that you can tear but uh, when we talk about the sockets let's talk about the uh, inlet 
the inlet uh, is hidden here, where we also have the Starlink cable. We have here two 16 ampere inlets, so you can work either with one, or if you have more power consumption, you can have uh, install two of those, and then you can use all the appliances at uh, full power. But this is like when you only have one access there. Also possible are three phase connections. And so let's go inside, have a look there. So now we are at the inside, uh, uh, you see that we don't have here electricity connected, but here are the LED stripes. We have LED stripes in the center, two of those, and also two LED stripes on both sides. The heat pump interior, the electrical cabinets are here. Here is the ventilation that I showed here, where it blows in the fresh air. Mm. We have sockets in all the places where you might need sockets here. Um, here and also here, up, and the same also on the back side in many, many places so that you have a lot of possibility to correct. And, and also what we didn't have earlier, we didn't have those floor connections. Now we have also floor sockets that you can connect it in the floor and the expanded sides also that you can, are really flexible with your layout, with your furniture. rails for fixing equipment. They have this nice black cover when they're not used, but that's the idea that you can fix here on the, uh, on the whole length. Uh, different, but what, what you need uh, for your road show what, or for your camping or whatever your needs might be. Let's talk about the furniture also. This is really nice plastic high gloss furniture. We have an integrated small fridge here. You can store drinks or some food here. And just normal cabinets. We have stored here this Starling system, for example, here. And also here some bit here with some rails that if something doesn't fall, fall out during driving, although those locks are also very good. So that I can't open. Uh, double door, so with the main one main door side and also the other side that you can also quite easily open to make like an extra big entrance, at attractive entrance for people. That's the idea. Or also get bigger items inside. Here we have the panel for the hydraulic system. It's also really nice with this black glass layout. Here we have the remote for the RGB that you can with um, with, what, with which you can drive the outside lights and and I think uh, maybe I'll talk about more also about the closing if you see uh, those latches that latch on as last I just opened those for example that you can see that they are intended that way that you see. That they compress this gasket so you get a really airtight uh, shelter that is quite energy efficient to heat and also to cool and that's why you need also a separate ventilation system because it wouldn't allow otherwise uh, to vent enough air so i think that's it i hope i give you gave you a good overview of about the features of the, that the, of the new trailer has and some properties. And if you have more questions, you can always drop us an email. So this will be an instruction manual how to fold it back in, set it in transport position. So let's start. So first of all, we start with the kill switch, electrical kill switch. Uh, probably you have disengaged it when you set it up first, or you should have when it's now you have to back uh, just show here this uh, kill switch on the right side now first thing you have to connect again the 12 volt pattern with the kill switch now that this is done 
Uh, and next step is go, we go inside. We fold down first these walls, but for this we have to be on the inside. Of course, remove all your furniture that you had on the expanding sides to the center. Fix it for transport. It's much more convenient to do if it's still open, you have a lot of space. Also, if the trailer is good balanced, then uh, just put it in the center, right above the access. If you need more front load, uh, put it more up front. So uh, let's start. First, we start with uh, by disengaging those latches on both sides, and also important to pull them over here down so that they lock in this position so that they can't fall down. It's important when you fold the wall down if you have it in the correct position. It makes life just easier. On this side too. And now it's in the locked position. Now I'll pull this one, the other one. And we have a handle. This uh, one, because the big uh, class uh, wall, it's a little bit heavy to pull down because it has those two gas struts, where you see on the other side it has only one gas strut, the wall. It's to support when you lift it to support the extra weight, but it makes it a little bit harder to, to, to pull it down, but it's, but it's okay. And just let it carefully come down. Now that's packed up. And here just a gentle tap because it has those rubber sockets and those uh, need to slide in into each other. And the same on the other side. And pull again here in the center. And here is much easier because it's just a very lightweight wall without the windows. So now we have done this. We go to the hydraulics uh, panel here. Hope you can see it, or you can use also the app, depend on uh, what you prefer. And I need to press it for three seconds. Accept. Continue. And first the extras. That's the hydraulic cylinders that control the folding uh, floors. And now first I press this side. And now I want to retract back the wall. So I push and hold this button. And you can see the wall starts coming up. And you have to keep the, uh, the button pushed. That's the safety reason. Also you see the battery indicator, battery wall that show you can see how the battery is doing if it needs charging. Now we switch sides. Can you show it? Now we are here. Now we have to just press this side. And now again the same for the other side. That is now complete from the inside. Now we go back to the outside. So first thing we do when we're on the outside, we attach the security cable just in case. Mm. Then we start folding those walls one at a time, or both together. If you have a telescopic post, you can support it, uh, the roof while doing that so you don't get these uh, rubber gaskets uh, making rubber tracks on the roof. And here are magnets, they will hold it in place. Now it's the roof. 
proof it needs a little bit of force. To go close it. And now it's closed. Check on both sides if it's locked in locked into position and also be sure that like this that the, uh, it's in the closed position and then try again to lock it and see now it works because it was a little bit standing up and check also on this side it's that it's securely locked and finally if it's checked both sides also here's again a little security cable and there's a small little hole where you can attach it yes. ah, now now it's secured. And also if you have the Starlink, you can just remove it by pushing it here and pulling it out. And there's this small little cap that you can, that doesn't collect any dirt inside. again this time I can check it if it's in the proper position already before and now that's done and now give it a little bit of a push and again check both sides if it's locked locked on the other side too locked attach the security cable and this is finished. Now we go to the back end. And now actually what you have to do first is go back inside. If you don't use the app, if you just use the, uh, the fixed remote. Press continue, go to leveling and press store, store. This will lift up the hydraulic legs. So when this is uh, done, when the system is finished, you hear it's still a little bit doing, but now it's, now, now it's finished. Use the kill switch, disconnect the 12 volt battery so that it's, it's secure. Here you can close this door and pull the latch down and also you can lock, lock it here with the lock. The lock is here hidden beneath this cover so that it doesn't get any dirt inside. Now go to the back side. And on the back side also, very easy, lock the door, uh, pull those small levers so you can close the handles on both sides. If you have a strap, I would recommend securing those that they don't make the noise while driving. And when you go to the roof, the roof is this, you pull this just out and then you push the roof down. And the stairs, they're also working with gas struts, so you can just pull them up, close it, and attach the security cable. That's it, now you're ready to go.